So, in part two, we're going to go a step further, and I'm just going to grab my screen over here, and we will be adding, um, like in, for with ray tracing, for example, right? You can turn on or off ambient occlusion. This is just adding a little zero and one to the to the uh, to the whole thing. So we're going to add a checkbox. We'll go back to WBE command base, and then look for a checkbox, which we'll drag in front of the button, which is now there. That's great. And we will tie logic to that. So when the checked state changes, we will also execute a console command. Now we're going to need to change our execute console command a little bit. I'm going to add a branch. I just did that by holding B and then clicking. And we are going to do uh, add a new boolean called checkbox. Make that editable. And we'll put the default value to false. So by default, we don't want a checkbox. If it's false, we execute the console command as we normally would. If it's true, we'll create a new one. And we will need to do some extra things with this. Append. Now, I'm, I'm going to have to be honest here. I'm not 100% sure if there needs to be a space, but I'm going to add a space. And I'm going to need a checkbox, which is here. And drag that in. And then do get state, get checked state. Oh, no. Get is, en is enabled. No. We'll do a get checked state. Let's do get checked state. And then we'll do a select. And we'll hook that up into here. If it's unchecked, it's zero. If it's checked, it's one. Undetermined. What if, it's, what if we're not sure? It's not going to happen, but we'll do zero. Yeah, that's fine. So now, when the checkbox is true, it will execute this console command, which is appended by a zero or a one. It's that simple. And we want, basically want to do the same thing when we change it. We can go directly in here. We don't need to check if it's a checkbox because we'll hide it. How do we do that? We add another branch on the pre-construct, get the checkbox. And if it is hidden, We'll do set visibility. If checkbox is true, we'll set it to visible. If checkbox is false, we'll set that to collapse. So we don't even see it, basically. And now, as you can see, we don't see it. <laughs> so here we'll do, what, what do we want to do? We can set ray tracing. It's not going to be very obvious, but you know, it's one that uses the, uh, the console commands. And, uh, oh, that's uh, so ray tracing as the name console command r dot ray tracing we need to set checkbox to true now you can uh, add a add some more logic to it and we could do set a default state for this so let's just go ahead and do that set st set check state promote this to a variable checked state now i think it's time to start creating some car categories check checkbox and we'll put checkbox in there as well make sure this is editable default unchecked i think that's fine and now on the console maybe you want ray tracing to be on by default so you can just go in here and do checked and now when it's uh, executed you can see the default state is now set to checked so when we execute the run editor utility widget you can see hey here we go we've got ray tracing false on, off, on, off, a little bit hard to check. Let's make sure that it's actually working. Where is my output log? There it is, is read only. Well, <laughs> the ones and zero works. And then, uh, you know, you have to make sure that it's not read only. I'm gonna, f can we do it with Lumen or something? I don't know the console commands for Lumen. Let's assume this works. This works. <laughs> Okay, I think this concludes part two. The next part we will be adding a slider and variables for that. And that's also going to be the last part of this uh, mini tutorial series basically on how to get more console commands accessible to you as a developer.